This video is about creating groups or bins based on numerical data and then finally we'll try to plot them also. And this is probably the easiest way to do that. And to do that we would need some libraries. Library Wakefield, ggplot2, sjplot, sjmiscellaneous and gt. And we would need some sample data. I'm going to use the Wakefield package or library to create some sample data. And all I need is the patient ID and the age of the patient, which could be from 0 to 120. With that sample data, we can start working on it. Let's view this data first. You can see that we have patient ID and age for the patients. Let me have some more data instead of just six rows. I just want to see 20 rows. Now using the SJ miscellaneous library, I'm going to create the group variables for the age in our data set. So if I do that, we get the age group. So let's see what age group contains. So this contains some numbers. This is not the age, this is the, the group number. Group number one, two, three, four, for various age ranges. And how do we know what is what? So we're going to create some labels. So I'm saying create the group label based on the SJ miscellaneous group label command. And these are the various age groups, so which are represented in this one. So one, two, three, four belongs to those labels. So with that label and the actual values in our data, we are ready to do some more processing. So if we were going to plot this data, I can use the SJ plot package or library, SJ plot, and in that we have a function called plot underscore frequency. So this is the package which we call in the beginning. So using that, I'm simply giving the age groups to it and it'll create a beautiful chart with. So the chart looks good, but you can see on x-axis we have one, two, three, four, five. These are the age groups which were created, but we want to see the labels there which are more meaningful to us. So we can do that also in this command I'm going to introduce the access.labels equals age group labels. And now we have such a beautiful chart which has the age group automatically created 0 to 4, 5 to 9, etc. And then the actual numeric frequency as well as the percentage was plotted automatically. So this is one of the easiest way to create such charts. As if this was not enough, you can also create a confidence interval but just saying show.ci equals true and you would get the 95% co confidence intervals there. Now the next question would be, how do we decide what grouping are we creating? What is the range of the bin? If you notice in the chart, the bins were like five years, zero to four, five to nine and so on. How do we change those groupings? Let's say if we wanted to have the groups by 10 years. So by giving this size equals 10 in the age group as well as in the age group labels, you would be able to achieve that. And if I run this plot again now, suddenly it's 0 to 9, 10 to 19, etc. You can obviously go and change it to something like 50 years and it'll still work. Like I said, this is one of the easiest way to handle those bins or, or groups. The other methods are quite complicated. You have to use the cut and then define the individual blocks or you could use the, the case when statement in dplyr to do that. But it's tricky and then it also leads to some errors because if you're not careful then you can make wrong groups also. But this is one of the easiest way. Of course you can enhance these charts also. So basically they are ggplot objects which means that we can benefit from the ggplot commands and I can enhance the chart by using the theme bw and then I can also have labels. The title, subtitle and captions. So if I run it and then finally print that object, I have a nice chart which has all the bells and whistles. So far we have only been able to produce the charts based on the groups but we haven't got them in our data set. So what if we need those groups in our data frame or data set so that we can use that in future for creating more charts or for using more analysis like regression and so on. So I can easily do that using the dplyr. 
and I'm going to create another data frame now DF with groups and I'm passing the original data frame DF and then writing some code here now which is going to be the dflower mutate command and we're going to create a new column, a data column. So let's attempt to create a new column using the SJ miscellaneous. I'm saying group labels, which we've already seen. So if I run this, I should be able to get a new age group label. But you can see that there's an error. It says age group lab underscore five must be size 1000 or one, not 25. So there's a problem here. How do we fix it? We just create a list object of that. And if I run it, you would see that we have a list object. It's basically listing multiple values in there. That's not what we wanted. So how do we fix it? So the simple fix is we put the row wise command so that it treats each row on its own. And if I run it now, I should be able to get a very good label for each age range, as you can see. So just remember that little trick. Just So similarly, I can create another column, and this time I want to create a group of 10 years each. So I'll simply call it as underscore 10, and then give the command the size equals 10. And you would see that we have successfully created two groups now, one for age five and one for age 10, as you can see. And of course, I can create another line of command there and then create an age group of, let's say, 50 years of age. Like I said, it's one of the easiest way to create such age groups or groups for any numerical data. You can see that we have various age groups. It'll take a long time to do that if you're going to do that in dplyr or using the cut command. Now there's a slight variation which you can do that in your groups. So you can have write intervals equals true. And if I go there and say write dot interval equals true, it's going to make some changes to the groups. Let's say I'm going to create 10 years of group. So instead of the normal group for 10 years, we got zero to nine years and then 10 to 19 years and so on. But in this case, we would get a different group. And you can see that some of the values for the groups are NA. And why is that? And I'll, I'll explain it to you. So the groups which are going to be created now with right dot interval equals two is one to 10, 11 to 20. And remember there were some ages which were age zero also. So for that, it has become NA or not available. So you have to be careful as what age groups or groups you want to use. I hope you found this information useful and practical. Thank you very much for watching it, and I'll see you in the next one.